Hello guys, hello we've done. This was going to be the telling point for me whether I was going to have to totally rejig my workouts and rejig my food and everything. But as you can see, yeah, we've come back down again. That's the lowest weigh in I've had at 84.5. It's not the lowest I've been in the body fat percentage. I have been down to, as you can see here, 34.1. So it's not the lowest body fat percentage I've been down here, but you know, it's coming back, back down, it's creeping down slowly, very slowly, which is a bit of a shame, but it is still coming down, um, which is the main thing. And obviously, the absolute main one for me is this, as you can see, it's going down to 33.5 and, and 34.5 and respectively, which I've never been there since the, the 21st of August. That was the last time I was at, at that particular point, which is the smallest. I mean, so to get back down to that again now, I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with it. It's coming down, it's going in the right, it's going the right way, it's going in the right direction, which is what I wanted. So I think what we're going to do is just, when it's working, you stick with it. You, you, know, you don't change things around too much. Um, the only thing I do, Thing is that like for the last few days, because I haven't had the macros available to us, I haven't had my protein free on a night thing, which I really do miss. I mean, I have really missed them because they are something that I really crave. My night thing is that bit of sweetness and that bit of um, the fats that I get through it as well. When I add me peanut butter to it, so I have missed those on a night thing, but I've still I've been hitting my macros. And I've been bringing the protein macros down very, very slightly because I think myself, yeah, you know, maybe I was getting just away too much when I was hitting in the regions of between 220 and 250 at times. And you know, I brought them down now to hit between the 200 to the 225. They may need to be adjusted again, and I may need to bring them down again. But at the minute, yeah, you know, as long as I don't start to shrink and get smaller, which at the minute I don't feel like I am. But I think what we might do sometime soon is do another measurements. Uh, I do have a set of body measurements somewhere and we'll hunt them out and I'll do another set of body measurements now and see just where I'm at and see how much actual sort of weight I'm losing. Yeah, sort of muscle mass. Um see head again. See how much actual muscle mass I'm actually now losing. See if I'm losing any. Yeah, and see if we're actually managing to do what most people class as almost impossible to do, which is to actually gain muscle at the same time as losing fat. Yeah, it's supposed to be so hard to do, it's unbelievable. Let's see if I'm pretty much managing to do something close to that, or if I have started to shrink. Yeah, I do feel smaller, I've got to admit that I do feel a lot smaller. When I wear my clothes, I feel and I look smaller to myself. But obviously when I'm in the gym and I'm working out, I'm thinking I look bigger and some of the lads are saying you know, that I look bigger. Yeah, they, some of them are, are starting to wonder whether I was on taking steroids, you know, because I've started to look bigger. And they're saying, no, it's because my muscles are coming, there's more definition there now than what I had. So they're looking bigger. Yeah, I don't take the care, I don't need to give, I'm fucking too old for that shit anyway, you know. So, this is a fully natural body. Yeah, and anyone that knows about natural bodies and watches anything on natural bodies would be able to tell this is a fucking natural body that don't have that muscle mass, that size of that type of thing that steroid users have. So, yeah, but I'm chuffed. They'll go in the right direction. They'll go back in the draw for, till next week. And guys, thanks very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you're still following this journey, it's showing you the little sort of blips that I have and. Uh, things when it's working out right, what I have to change, what I don't have to change, when I'm changing things, when I'm not changing things. Uh, I hope you're following this still and enjoying it. And guys, I will catch you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Please put a like, comment, and I will see you in the next one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. The Big Bad Wolf. The Big Bad Wolf.